Oh boy, let the packing begin. Oh man, oh man, you guys. Tomorrow at 6 a.m. I will be on a flight to Vegas and I'm so excited, so, so ready. It is time to pack for EDC and I'm gonna show you guys my process for packing for this festival. I will be camping. This is my first time camping. Forgive me if it's not the most perfect packing list. I kind of just have taken info from everyone and we're figuring it out. This is the chaos that we have here. I'm gonna try and like organize it all and get everything together and show you guys how I pack. For EDC and for Camp EDC, I have this big suitcase lady here. I might need to bring her um, and then I might need to also bring a duffel. We will see. It's also a challenge because this is in October. If you happen to be watching this and you're going to EDC in May, might not need all this stuff unless it's gonna be cold. You never know. It happened in 2019, definitely can happen again. I think the first step I'm gonna do is figure out my outfits and then figure out all the other outfits I need for the weekend. We are flying in on a Wednesday because we want to be able to see a little bit of Vegas and then we are going to camp on Thursday and then we will be there until Monday. So have some outfits I need to pack. We also did do a Walmart order and that was for things like a wagon, a cooler. It's the somewhat Walmart haul, everyone. Oh, wait, I was gonna do the Walmart. Walmart haul. We got waters, two cases of waters. We got some white cloths. We got a blanket. <laughs> you hey me? guys, hey welcome guys. back to my channel. Today we're gonna do our a Walmart haul. haul. We hey, got everyone. some talkies. We got some vitamin supplements. We got some um, what are these earplugs? <laughs> some buy hydrations for my boyfriend. <laughs> Another blanket, more snacks, some Red Bull, um, more Red Bull, and then it wouldn't be my campsite if it was not Nooners. Nooners and a lantern, and who knows what else, but yeah, and I think there's one other thing. Oh, and BB's memory foam, so her back doesn't hurt. Because I have the back of an 80 year old woman. <laughs> Step one I'm gonna put on some music, we're gonna try on my outfits. Make sure everything looks good. Some other essentials, I did get some hand warmers from Amazon. Got a bunch of like toiletries and stuff from Target. So yeah, I'm gonna put some music on, try and organize everything just to like make sense of all of this and I will update you guys. All right, so update. We got our Thursday night pre-party. We got Friday outfit day and night main outfit day two here, day three here. I have all the warm stuff too and then I have jackets up here this is gonna be like sweatpants and leggings for like night not nighttime but i guess like sleep time and stuff um i'm gonna be bringing this jacket i have that hoodie down there and then i'm just gonna bring this bomber from cross and then this fuzzy jacket so that is good to go there um i also have some sunglasses here for both the days as well as sunglasses here so i'm gonna put these in here I feel good about all of that. <laughs> all right, you guys, the last time I left you, it was two o'clock, now it's 3.15. So this is taking me a while, but I think we have everything. So here is all the camping stuff. We got the hot hand, we got two pillowcases because we're getting pillows there. Shower shoes, wet wipes, baby wipes, uh, inflatable pads that I got from Amazon. I'm not gonna take these anymore. Um, and then we have some microfiber towels and then this is like an inflatable couch sleeping bag. We're getting a blanket at Walmart. So we'll open up the sleeping bag, sleep on top of it, sleep on top of the pads and then have our pillows and blanket. Um, Emma forgot this at the bachelorette so I'm packing that for her. Um, I got my festival bag ready to go. I might swap out the skins. I'm gonna have my snack pack just for like being at camp in case I need it. Um, this is like makeup palettes. We got blush palette, eyeshadow palettes in here. This is like a bunch of health stuff. We got our Ravery, Collagen, Icy Hot, um, makeup remover wipes. This is like going to be my little shower bag to take to the showers. Um, toiletry bag, and then that's Chase's toiletry bag of stuff I got for him, so that will go in his bag. Makeup bag, hairbrush, fake eyelashes. This I put, um, this is my Sunny K bag that my robe was in. <laughs> so I was able to actually put candy in here. Shout out Candy Bar. They sent me a ton of candy bracelets. So now I have some for EDC and I didn't have to worry about making any. So that is going to be a lifesaver because I did not have time to make candy for EDC this year. Definitely snuck up on me. <laughs> and then in here, I have my space whip. So Emma and BB are bringing their space whip. I haven't whipped in so long, so that is gonna be really fun for us. 
Um, I think we're just gonna do it at the campground after party, so that could be really fun for us. Okay, so I think the last thing I need to do is I need to gather all electronics. So I am bringing this camera for the campgrounds. Otherwise, I'm using my phone, but I need to gather like all my chargers, camera stuff, electronics. Um, and then I think I'm going to try and fit everything into one suitcase. If it weighs 50 pounds, then I will pack a carry-on. We are also bringing the totem, so I definitely will have, um, for Southwest, you can do two checked bags or two checked items. So I think the plan of attack might be we'll have the box for the totem. That will be a checked thing. One suitcase, that'll be a checked thing. And then if I need to, because if that checked bag goes over 50 pounds, then I will do a duffel or something else just to fit everything else. But I feel like I can fit it all in this big suitcase but it just might be the weight thing. I think I'm gonna also get like a small backpack or something as a purse for tomorrow for the plane. I'm not too sure, I need to figure that out too. not fitting I think is this like the camp stuff honestly so I might I don't think I think this is a little excessive so I might do this and it's a backpack that way I can like carry this on my back while getting to camp I zip everything up and weigh it and see how that goes okay so it's 48 pounds exactly <laughs> I might just throw something into that backpack just so I don't have to deal with it, but dang, super close. <laughs> all right, so we put my lunchbox in here. We put some other stuff, all the camp kind of stuff in here. was able to put my cross jacket in here, so I think we are good to go, you guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, showing you guys how I packed for EDC. I'm sure I've done some type of recap, especially if you're camping at EDC. So if I have, I will link it up here for you guys. I just did this to kind of document it and show other people how I packed for camp EDC. Hello, it is Aid from the present day. <laughs> Finally editing this video for you guys. So it's funny watching this back and wondering what my thought process was after going through EDC. So I'm definitely gonna do a, another video of, you know, things to pack, uh, especially for Camp EDC. So that will be coming soon. But in the meantime, I wanted to share some things that are off the top of my head that I was like, maybe I shouldn't have packed that. Maybe I should have done this differently now after going through Camp EDC. Um, main thing, I did not need two jackets. I bought the fuzzy jacket and the cross jacket because I was very scared to be cold, but I was perfect. Honestly, I should have just had a hoodie and the bomber. Um, so I would have packed lighter there. Second thing, I thought it was going to be cold, so I didn't pack any other type of outfits. I didn't pack a bathing suit. I didn't pack like shorts and a regular like t-shirt because I thought it was going to be cold. But when the Vegas sun is out, it's hot. <laughs> and so the forecast was showing us cold, but it really wasn't during the day. It was actually pretty nice out. So I would just keep an eye on that weather forecast and then plan on packing things that you can wear for different occasions, right? Whether it's hot, whether it's cold, whatever it may be. Second thing was about the Walmart order. So we did do a Walmart order. However, a lot of the stuff was not available. So we ended up having to go in and buy some of the stuff because we kind of knew they were able to tell us what they had and didn't have so they didn't have a wagon which sucked we were able to borrow a friends thankfully 
Um, they didn't have the cooler that we wanted, so we got a smaller cooler. There were some other things that I can't really remember, but I basically covered a lot of the basics um, in that haul. We basically just got all the kind of sleep essentials, food, drink, stuff like that. We didn't get actual food food, we just got snacks. Had we been able to bring, you know, actual cooking setup, that could look a whole lot different too. I wish I wouldn't have brought the two bags. I felt like I took up a lot of space on top of having the totem with my campmates, but everyone was understanding. And it seemed like the best move was to be, was to have one of those like European travel backpacking backpacks <laughs> because you could easily put that on your back because it is a long walk from the cars to your tent and there's a lot of gravel so you run the risk of breaking your suitcase honestly so if you're able to bring like a big duffel or big backpack that you can carry versus having to drag that might be a lot easier those are kind of the things that are at the top of my mind while I was watching this video just to mention to you guys as you are preparing and then I will do another video about Camp EDC uh, specific tips for preparing for that I do have my review videos up for EDC and Camp EDC, so if you want more info on my experience, definitely go check out those videos and then I will have more tip videos to come. Let me know if you guys have any questions and if you did like today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.